Welcome! In today's video I'm going to show you how to employ MATLAB in order to debug common problems arising with parameter initialization and computing analytical steady state values in Dynair. The reason we can use MATLAB for this is that parameter initializations like this here as well as the contents of a steady state model block down here require MATLAB compatible syntax. That is, on the left hand side we have a variable assignment. So it's the name of the variable which is assigned the value on the right hand side and everything on the right hand side needs to be known and valid MATLAB code. That is different from the model block. In the model block there is sometimes a bracket indicating the timing if you would try to execute an equation like this, it would not work. And within the model block, you're allowed to use implicit equations. So there is not a rule that you need to have some assignment on the left and something on the right, but rather something like this is allowed, where you have GE plus GL is equal to something on the right. That's not the case for the steady state model or the parameter initialization. There you must have valid assignments. Now let's run the file in order to see where the problem is. If I run the file, I'm going to get an error message. And it's going to tell me that the steady state has not a number or infinity in it. Now let's scroll up. There are the residuals of the static equations. They show that there is not a number in various equations. Now scrolling up a bit, we get a warning, which is already pretty informative. This warning tells us some parameters have no value. In this case, it's omega 1. Now let's go up a bit. Here we have clearly assigned omega 1 a value. So where is the problem? In order to find out where the problem comes from, we are going to clear the memory. So if you look at the workspace here on the left, now it's empty. What we're going to do next is we're going to execute the parameter definitions. How can we do that? We mark it, the code that we want to execute, and then either we press the shortcut F9 or we do right click for evaluate selection. And if I'm doing that, it's going to tell me unrecognized function or variable omega 5, which means that somewhere in these assignments, we must be using omega 5 before it has actually been defined. We can see here, here it appears, in the definition of omega 1, we define omega, we use omega 5, but that's only defined in the next line. That's the reason why Diner tells us omega 1 was not set, because whenever Diner is going to encounter a parameter name on the right hand side, which has not been assigned a value yet, it will assume the default value, which is not a number. So omega 1 will be not a number as well. And obviously there is an easy fix. We move this assignment here on top. And now if you try to execute the same code, we see there is no more error message. And we can see on the right hand side that all those omega parameters are set. Now we can run the file again. And now we're going to get another error message. It says the steady state file did not compute the steady state. And we can see there are two equations with residuals, number 19 and equation number 1. Equation number 1 has a name behind it. That's the one that starts with WE. And we're going to focus on this one. Now, where, why is there a residual? We scroll up a bit and here the program tells us the initial values for the steady state of the following variables are complex. So they're complex values. And that's the case for WE. Now, where does this come from? And again, we're going to employ MATLAB to trace out where the error comes from. First step is we clear the workspace. And then we need to execute the parameter definitions. So now we have all the parameters that we need. And now we move to the steady state model block. And again, everything that's in the steady state model block is MATLAB code. 
So we try to execute this and we do this up to the point down here where we have the definition of WE. And we can see in WE we have omega 4. Omega 4 is not complex, it's just a number. We have CE, it's also just a number. Phi is a parameter, some fraction, 3.4. And there is this lab E, which is labor in a particular sector. If I execute this we're again with F9, I can see this steady state value for labor is minus 0 0.9. And this negative number is raised to a fractional exponent. We can again use F9 to execute this to see that this is the reason we get a complex number. Now the next step and the final step would be finding out why exactly we get a value for labor which is negative. We're not going to do this in this video. But we have clearly now identified the culprit of the error message. And this clearly shows you how to employ MATLAB's execution capabilities to narrow down where the error messages come from. Thank you for your attention.